So there have been two massive Xbox exclusive that have been delayed, including the highly anticipated Starfield. Bethesda Game Studio shared the disappointing news in a statement this week, quote, We've made the decision to delay the launches of Redfall and Starfield to the first half of 2023. The teams at Arcane Austin, Redfall, and Bethesda Game Studio, Starfield, have incredible ambitions for their games, and we want to ensure that they receive the best, most polished versions of them. End quote. Starfield was originally slated for November 11, 2022, this year, and Redfall was penned for a September release window. Swinney, the massive loss in the in the console wars for you. This is a you know, battle of Normandy. <laughs> I as as much as the uh, the light right above my head, yes, yes, you know, do, goes against these words. <laughs> I, I am not an Xbox fanboy. Oh, it's it back is, on. Huh. This is a loss, yeah, because they relisted Final Fantasy. Um, <laughs> it's the canon. This, this is, I think, a loss in general for anyone obviously looking forward to the next Bethesda game, you know, um, because a lot of people would have been able to play it on PC even if they, you know, were mainly a PlayStation or mm. owner. Obviously, for, as long as they had a PC to run it. This, this, is, this really sucks, but also not surprising for me. Um, and the last thing anybody wants is a Bethesda soft, software game to be released <laughs> yeah. before it's ready. Mm. So, yeah. I mean, they like I only recently played um, uh, 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 what's it called? Skyrim. Skyrim, sorry. Um, and that's a buggy mess. And I'm playing it like ten years after it came out, right? So it's amazing how many bugs there still are, <laughs> even though it's up to the twentieth edition now. I bet, like this, I, the one part that is super damning about this, and then we'll get back to the games and everything. But you know, I know you've got the note here, Swinny. But effectively, what it means is that after two years, this is what it'll end up being, as far as we understand it. After two years of the Series X being on sale, there's still not one single first-party exclusive that's like only on the Series X, hmm. like. Like, I was actually putting up a graphic. I was, like, designing it. So, I'm like, just for my own benefit to understand, right? Mm. PlayStation 5, what are the exclusive? You know, you've got the Returnals, Ratchet & Clank, you know, Spider-Man Remastered. I was starting to put it all together. Then I started looking through the Series X. I'm like, wait a second. Is there literally not one single game that is exclusive to Series X? Mm. And I had to get you to confirm it. Like, Mike, yeah. it, like, it, don't you think that's a, cr- a crazy stat? Yeah. That there are zero games that you need a Series X to play. You could literally play like PC or Xbox yeah, One or PS5. Yeah. I just think that's it, crazy, man. I think it's super crazy, and I think I think it's it's a testament to the fact that mine's just sitting there catching dust as a result of that. Because mm. unless I want to sit on the couch and get the benefits of having it on the TV, I'm better off just playing on the PC. And I don't know, not everyone will do that, obviously, because yeah. not everyone's got a PC that I guess is equivalent to being able to play those games. But because of that, there's just no incentive for me to jump on and actually use it. It's just sitting there catching dust. Mm. It's a bit yeah. of a shame. I think when it comes to third-party releases, that's that's really damning in general, the fact that there's no games that you can just play on a Series X, really. Mm. But when it comes to first-party, I'm not surprised at all because Microsoft said from the beginning at least you know we didn't know how long it would be but basically each game would be available to play on xbox one and series x yeah so they said that they said that before series x came out but now we're seeing for instance starfield will be on xbox one but it seems like it will probably be via streaming so it's like that's the direction so well potentially that's what i just found uh, was looking up then because i was like was starfield actually announced for it um but anyway like i think that that will allow them to that statement to remain true because doesn't Mm. technically it's playable on xbox it's just one it's just not the way you want probably wanted to and they only committed that to the first two years from memory because I remember, was it like, two years was it? Okay. I believe it was two years, and I remember, uh, what's his name, Jim Ryan. I always want to say Jim Ryan, or what's the other version? Jack Ryan. Jack Jim Ryan's the Ryan's. twenty-four guy. CIA. <laughs> but I think Jim Ryan was like having a go. It's kind of like, well, we want next-gen games on the next-gen console, and then they reverted <laughs> back because of the you know the chip shortage and started to port their games back to the PS4. But I don't like. I get that it's like a really interesting strategic move, but. 
for someone who's like pretty casual to Xbox now, having zero games, like there's zero compelling reasons for me to go. Like there is like zero reason why I should get a Series X, right? I've got a PC that's kind of the equivalent. And I've got a PS5. If you have a PC, there's zero reason, yeah. No, I'm yeah. saying for me, personally, right? Yep. But I feel like that's a really weird position to be in. Um, and, you know, the other thing I was going to say, Swinney, is like, it does, like, I'm kind of amazed at the marketing job that Xbox have done. Because when you kind of go, like, look at the tail of the tape, they totally botched the Halo Infinite launch. Hmm. Like, yeah, of course. I, I genuinely wanted to play the multiplayer of that game. And it's so buggy. And, you know, for the folks that actually can play it and it works, there's just no content. Like, you know, it's taken forever for the new season to come out and it's pretty light on content still. And then the other one is I wanted to play co-op and then they came out, like, only recently. But it's kind of like the buzz is already over. Hmm. So has, it even, has it actually come out already? Oh, uh, I thought it had. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> so, I, I would still enjoy the co-op I think experience. they were saying it was coming soon. Oh, my I God. So it's still not out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's August. That's (laughs) That's insane, man. I must have been thinking about something else that it was doing. That's just so bad, man. What I said before about, like, that I wasn't surprised, it doesn't mean that, look, obviously it's super disappointing. Like, any new next generation should have games that really, really make you go, I need that new console. I'm very happy I upgraded because there's games like... Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Cyberpunk and Tales yeah, of yeah. Arise that run Lovely. so much better on, on these new consoles, but there's nothing like, you know, a Ratchet and Clank, a Returnal, uh, you know, like any of those. There's nothing like those kind of games. Even Days Gone things. that I've been playing, you know, it's an exclusive for PlayStation, obviously. Well, it's on Tom PC now as well, but... So yeah, I guess that equation's a bit the same, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, but, like, but, but for a while it wasn't, you know. No, for... but you can play them on your PS4. What I'm saying is, yeah. there's no, there's nothing you can only play on an Xbox. No, yeah. even from a console standpoint. Yeah, this Xbox is, Series X. Weird. There are mm. decent games on the PS5 that you can only play on a PS5, and there's no yeah. other place to play it. Like Ratchet yeah. and Clank, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's a decent game. And Returnal, mm. I really want to get into that decent game. Demon Souls, still, it's the only place you can play mm. that remake. Awesome, awesome remake. So, mm. I mean, that's just a short list of it. It's, I don't know. It's really weird. I find like I don't understand what Xbox is doing apart from just trying to get their shit together in terms of like get a release schedule of quality games. But like I keep saying this, they just not have, they have not demonstrated they can do that. Like Bungie leaving Halo, the Halo games have like dropped in quality. It's just like, I don't know. I just, I'm still waiting to see like the pipeline of games coming from them. That are decent. I hope they don't infect other studios like id and stuff like that who are on a really good roll. So, yeah. But um, look, like, uh, just on Starfield, like, I'd much rather them delay it. Like, I'd rather... I feel like it's not enough of a delay. Like, well, if it, depend, we, it depends on what. I don't, yeah, the how long they've already cooked it for as well. Yeah, but... Because like, it might have been in the oven for a while. Kind of like six months so. delay is not very long, right? Well, well we not... don't we don't know six months. We we yeah. know it could be up to six months. Mm. So yeah. like there's a very good chance it'll probably be March eighth. But I mean when when was May, the last you know? major game they did? It's it's been years. Is it Fallout the... Four? No, so uh, like Fallout seventy six and Elder Scrolls Online are the two games. But they didn't they make those games. Yeah. Bethesda. Bethesda Game Studios, like the Todd Howard part of it, wasn't. Oh well, it's still. But Beth- I'm still saying that's still oh. Bethesda to me. Like I breaking <laughs> but, it up on teams within Bethesda, like it's still Bethesda to me. Um, if you want to say Todd Howard, then maybe it's Fallout Four. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know what his involvement was in Fallout uh, Seventy Six. But if you're talking like single player AAA tentpole titles, and Fallout Four definitely was the last yeah. game for that. And how long ago was that? That was like. Monster time ago, right? Damn. Yeah, that's been a while. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, like, uh, like I was really looking forward to it late in the year. Obviously, this just pretty much means Elden Ring is going to be game of the year. <laughs> like, that's going to be one of the most undisputed game of the years. I mean, what maybe, else is going to threaten it? Sweetie? Maybe. Who knows? Like, so. maybe Final Fantasy 16 will come out this year. And maybe. That's be awesome. Yeah, we don't that, know. That could be. So, that could be. That could be. Um, I just want to say as well that, look, they've got their showcase in mm. next month. Mm-hmm. There's a good chance that they could say, okay, this is, you know, they, they they desperately need a game for the holidays because even like Redfall getting delayed, we didn't touch on that. 
that would that's not the game that is going to move the needle at all as much as i like arcane mm. um they need something for the holidays so we'll see if they come to the the you know yeah. come with it and you also wonder are they just going to try to buy something or like buy some exclusivity for game pass right like some game well, that's prob- on the fence or something They'll probably do that anyway, but you're right. They'll probably mm. throw more money at that than they'd planned. Mm. So. You think they would, right? Um, mm. And just to do the early hype, so that that showcase, that Xbox showcase, will be uh, streaming that live reaction, right, Swinny? Yep. Like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, we're passionate about <laughs> gaming, Mike. Apologies. A, that's To me, that's my favorite event of the year, so yeah. um, I wouldn't miss that. So I think my favorite event is now the... The game, the game awards, just because it's like so cringy and funny, and like there are good announcements every year. So, all right, and, the, and whatever Nintendo does in June as well. Yeah, like their directs are the best. Even when it goes bad, it's quite funny. All right, 